Come on now, any angle. <laughs> any angle, your boys. <laughs> hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to do this long overdue icicle nails effect so that your icicle nails can look like this so i'm going to show you three methods in this video this is method one please 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 do not use a base coat like i did use a rubber gel or a builder gel instead and just do the same exact thing that i'm doing right here but just don't use a base coat because a base coat is too thin also thank you guys so so much for 600 subscribers and if you're wondering why i sound like this i just woke up second method is to use a poly gel make sure that the poly gel brand you're using is clear and it is thick and not runny like this one this one i i use was foggy and it was runny please use a brand like mccart i know that mccart has really good poly gels then you're going to put the cling wrap on and you're going to use you can use anything but i use this i can't remember the name right now but i use that and then i cure it under the lamp and this is how it turned out i don't remember oh yeah here i'm going to put on the top coat yeah and then I'm going to show you how it looks after the top coat. Also, make sure that the clear you're going to use on top is extremely clear and not foggy. The acrylic I'm talking, or gel, whatever you use. Method three is to use acrylic and foil paper. So you're going to want to crumble the foil paper at first to create that kind of, you know, crushed effect, crushed ice effect then you're going to open it up back and you know get a nice piece that will fit the nails i accidentally ripped the aluminum right there so you're going to get a nice piece that will fit the nail then you're going to place a bead of acrylic underneath the nails and spread it out then you're going to place the foil paper onto the acrylic preferably when it's almost dried you know so it's less messy and make sure it is really really dry before you take it off back unlike me i didn't have the patience honestly but it still came out nice and you're going to trim off the edges and top coat it and this is what it should look like you can go ahead and start your design on the top now this is why i said make sure that the clear you're using is really clear and not foggy because after doing this design and top coat it and everything it came out foggy so my clear acrylic powder is not really clear also the poly gel that i use for the underneath of the nails is not clear this acrylic right here was extremely dry i was using it for the first time i got it from i wouldn't say my local beauty supply store i got it from a nail salon yeah i went and bought it at a nail salon and i figured out that it was extremely dry so i had to try and work my way around that so i used smaller beads and i also use wetter beads and i tried to place the beads as perfect as possible that as soon as i placed it on the nail i just blend it in without having to move it around So as you can see, I'm trying to do the ombre here, but it was giving me a lot of trouble. I ended up fixing it later on though, you're going to see it after this. I place another bead and yeah, right here, I place a wetter bead and then I dropped it down. And then I'm going to cap it with clear. I think you can use Mia Secret Clear. Mia Secret Clear is known to be a very, very good clear. I'm going to try and get my hands on it but this clear that i'm using is not it i got it from my beauty supply store my local beauty supply store so this is just on another finger i'm showing you the application again placing that bead down right where the tip meets the natural nail and i'm going to blend it down to create an ombre 
then place another bead above it swipe it down and make sure to clean up the sides then i'm going to add the last bead which is the cuticle bead Oh, and it looked kind of empty, so I went ahead with another bead and, you know, place it on there. Then I'm going to cap this in clear also. And when you're capping the ombre design, make sure to start from a little bit above the ombre so that when you file it, it doesn't file and ruin the ombre. And you see I'm continuously turning my nails to the side to check in how thick it is. If everything is on the same level, please do that when you're doing your nails. This is them filed. This was not my best stiletto filing. I wasn't too proud of it, but it was okay. It was my first time doing rounded stiletto. So here I'm just applying the charms and you can get these charms from nail blings and things. I will have their website link below. They also sell the luxury looking charms, you know, like the gold ones and the, the ones with the diamonds in it, all of that. So they sell those as well, as well as these resin charms. Then I'm going to go ahead and top coat this after I finish placing on everything and this is how it looks as you can see the icicle effect is foggy but you can achieve a better effect and I show you how to do it in the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye have a great time.